How did we go from a castle with a lord and a lady and a king and a queen that controlled the church and the bank and the government and the science and business and law and land? How did we get from here where we were all living in little huts? We're, we own nothing. We were serfs. We did whatever the king said to do, and he owned all of our product. How did we get from there all the way to where we should be? to a free state, the road to freedom. The biggest stop was 1776. That's when we said, we have to break away from you. You don't understand who we are and what we want to build. What we want to build is a government that's instituted among men that would protect these rights that make all of us equal. That was revolutionary, literally revolutionary thought. And so we started making our way, and we didn't build giant walled cities. We instead, people could own their own homes and their own cars and whatever it is they wanted. They, we had local universities and state universities. We had local schools. We had corporations and industry all in our towns, a church. The inventors were not working at Dow Chemical. They were usually working in their garage late at night trying to figure out, how can I break this code? And D.C. was a distant land. That's how we got here. Well, that was the plan. But if you're, you're reading this, you know about this. How do you get the most powerful and wealthy nation that has ever existed to accept the concept you will own nothing and you'll be happy? Land ownership is fundamental. It, it, was, it was completely almost a new concept for the rest of the world. You didn't just go out and you, everything was owned by the king or a lord or a lady. You just didn't have your own land. But it's a staple of this country. Private ownership is, since our very inception, part of who we are. Now, we own an awful lot of stuff in the private hands. Who do we think will own all of the land, the businesses, our houses, our cars, everything, once we happily give everything up? Will the Bank of America hand over all the stuff that their banks own? Will J.P. Morgan, Chase, Amazon, Google, Walmart, Tesla, are they going to pack it all in and go, you know what, all this is free. It's great. We don't want to own it either. The answer is obviously no. Someone owns it. So who? Well, they won't surrender, I'll tell you that. And they're not going to stand alone. They are going to be partners, stakeholders, stakeholders with the governments of the world. That's what this book is really all about. This is about serfdom. You see, we've been on this road for a very long time, and we all thought we were headed that way, but at some point, we started going back this way, and the road to freedom is also the road to serfdom. It is. I'll show you a little while how long this has been in the works. It's phenomenal. But the progressive era saw a dramatic escalation, turning you and me into a serf. But this strategy is literally centuries old. Public-private partnerships are the mechanisms to get you to live here. The system is hurtling towards finality at a frightening pace right now. In five years, I think, honestly, in two years, you're not going to recognize this country. You may not recognize this country after the next election. I don't know. But it will be unrecognizable if we don't create a parallel system and get off this road.